States Navy presents an official report for the armed forces and the American people. Navy Screen Highlight. Canaveral, Florida, the white glare of publicity spotlights the first United States effort to launch a human into space. Hundreds of reporters from dozens of countries will tell the world of our success or of our failure. Of seven astronauts trained for the human probe into space, one is chosen. He's Alan B. Shepard, Jr., Commander, United States Navy. He's made the flight hundreds of times in ground-anchored training devices, now his training and the training of hundreds of space scientists and technicians is put to the test. The first flight is planned to be suborbital the first of many checks on equipment and procedures before committing a human being to a full orbit of the Earth. Countdown time is hours away as Commander Shepard boards his space capsule. The capsule, jammed full of complex equipment, sits atop its redstone missile like a small cap on a large bottle. Camera inside begins recording as the countdown nears the space age's most exciting word, liftoff. Millions of breaths are held, millions of fingers are crossed, as millions of anxious eyes follow Commander Shepard's flight on television. He adds a new phrase to our language when he reports by radio that everything is A-OK, -okay, absolutely perfect. Recorded by the space capsule camera, Commander Shepard, even under conditions of acceleration, weightlessness, and deceleration, is able to perform work, to observe, to maintain communications with the Earth, and to control and change the attitude of the capsule in flight. In time and distance, the flight is brief. 15 minutes to travel 115 miles up and 300 miles down range, reaching a top speed of 4,500 miles per hour. But we went an exploratory tow in the edge of space and learned that the water is fine. It's the first step without which there could be no others. Recovery of the capsule from the waters of the Atlantic is uneventful thanks to the many practice recoveries that preceded the manned flight into space. As calmly as a tourist, Commander Shepard checks his space vehicle for any forgotten items. The world will not soon forget his flight but it's likely to longer remember two other days. The infinite precautionary measures that demonstrate our concern for the individual and our complete lack of secrecy, our willingness to dare public failure. An American space flight enhances the cause of freedom. Aboard the aircraft carrier Antietam in the Gulf of Mexico, a 10 million cubic foot balloon, the largest ever built, strains for release. It will carry two Navy men aloft to gather information about the reaction of men exposed to space-like conditions for an extended period. Their spacesuits, the same as those of the Mercury astronauts. It's the first manned balloon flight to be launched from a carrier at sea, the fifth ascension of the Stratolab High Research Series. Instruments attached to the men's bodies telemeter information back to Earth, heart action, body temperature, respiration and brain waves, recorded for future study. And a 
sets a new altitude record for manned balloon flight, nearly 21 and a half miles high.